Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be telling you five things you should know before owning a Cocker Spaniel. Now, I was going to do this video about dogs in general, but I thought Cocker Sp every breed is different in its own way, as well as every single dog, even if they're of the same breed, is different because I hate it when people compare dogs of the same breed and be like, oh, that Cocker Spaniel did something, so why can't this Cocker Spaniel do because Individuals. Also, I apologise that I did not upload last week. I was feeling a little bit under the weather, and also I, nothing was coming to me. Also, I apologise for the fact that this is a completely random video. I just thought of it, and I thought, hey, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. Bitty bang. I'm not a professional dog owner. Uh, I just don't mean to toot my own horn or anything. I know a lot about dogs, so the first thing you should know about owning a Cocker Spaniel is that they are hyper dogs. Well, I say very hyper, they're not like weirdly hyper, it's just that often small breeds tend to have a lot of energy in them, which is just absolutely amazing, but um, they just, it's like bigger dogs seem to be more chill, smaller dogs have a lot more energy and that's just how they exert it. So honestly, if you don't like it, like hyper dog, no, don't recommend a cocker spaniel for you. Of course, not all cocker spaniels are hyper. Just like every single thing on this list does not refer to every single cocker spaniel that's ever existed, since every single cocker spaniel in the world is its own individual. Then every dog's mind works differently. But yeah, great dogs. If you have a busy family, maybe they'll work for you. And if you have a very chill, relaxed family, maybe not. And if you do want someone to keep you on your toes, definitely a Cocker Spaniel would do the trick. But I feel like I'm doing some sort of ad. I don't know what the hell that was about. So the second thing you should know about owning a Cocker Spaniel is that they are very loyal. Again, this does not apply to every other dog, but most Cocker Spaniels, I would say, are loyal. Um, once you've gained their trust. Now this is a huge thing about trust because I hate it when people think, you know, you feed them, things like that, they're supposed to trust you. No, it's what abusive animal owners feed their dogs, that means the dogs should trust them. No, it's a lot more is that, as well as you earning their trust, they need to earn your trust and you need to work for it. Don't expect a dog to just trust you because you feed it water, you know, you need to like be kind to it. Um, and interact with it. If you don't interact with it and they just see you as some boring person, wow, the trust is going to be so unbreakable. You know, you need to interact with it, show it that you are something positive, because if you don't, never bother with it, you're never going to grow a bond, and then why are they going to be loyal to somebody that they don't actually know, they just live with? It's not going to work out, is it? So do you please bond with your dog. Don't just expect them to be a pet that just sits on the floor and you can stroke because there's so much more that goes into it than that and mm, nothing more annoying than that. I apologise also if I am looking at my viewfinder, it's just that it at some point it looks dull, some points it doesn't and honestly my viewfinder is awful, some things what you see is not what you get, that's why I want a new camera. So a third thing that you should know about before owning a Cocker Spaniel is that you should train them. And this is something that I really do recommend to not compare on because I hate it when, you know, people want their dogs to like learn to pee and poo within like a few weeks. Or something. Like my dog Lola didn't, didn't learn until she was actually nine months old and we trained her every single day. and. I don't know why, it was just months on end on like being really careful and obviously she did start to, s it was just very slow progress and every time she did something right of course we rewarded her every single time and yeah just some dogs it might only take a week, some dogs it might take two months, three months, five months so please do not put a time limit on how much and what a dog's supposed to to do and that isn't just with poo peeing and pooing that is with things like chewing jumping up anything that you want your dogs to train on it all takes different timing and you know what your friend's dog might have only have took a few weeks that doesn't mean your dog's gone so yes please do not put a timing on your dogs since it's really annoying 
just let them do it in their own time. But when it comes to tricks and things like that, Cocker Spaniels actually enjoy to learn stuff like that. Cocker Spaniels are, can actually be quite intelligent, um, as well as all dogs, but like they're quite known for being intelligent. Don't know why I messed up on my dogs. Honestly, the more you, you um, teach them things, and it's not just like teaching them tricks like jumping, sitting, things like that, or, or, or rolling over, playing dead, it's not just things like that. It's just keeping their mind to work um, is really good as that's what Cock Spaniels like, and you'll find that if you can, you, you'll see a huge difference in the personalities instead of them just, instead of them just sitting there all day, you'll see a huge change in their personalities of the way they just act in, in a positive way because their their minds are working that they're, they're having to think be willing to be if you're not even willing to consider it then just don't get a dog and that then just don't get a cock spaniel in fact don't get a dog at all since all dogs love to get their mind to work even if it's just the smallest thing in the world of course they might get frustrated with it but they but they also enjoy it now this is something that is very, and I mean very common in Cock Spaniels, both my Cock Spaniels suffer with it, and that is anxiety. Cock Spaniels are also known for anxiety, so if you're gone for a long period of time, they don't do well, they hate it. They will cry, they will bark, they will howl, um, it's quite sad really. This again comes to the trust thing, like, like if you don't gain their trust, their anxiety is just going to be all over the place. And it's already scary for them being away from their home and things like that. Please, please, please think, be reasonable about when you get them. And of course, just them living with you for the rest of their lives. Since I hate it when people rehome their animals. Since I know the people that own their animals will hate it. But I just don't like it. Simply because annoying it is. Since I know I have rehome dogs. Um, and it's never been the enjoyable experience and it's always been in the dog's best interest but I think if it is on your end and you can't cope or you didn't do enough research I think that is simply just on you because a dog feels things it feels it feels scared it feels hate it feels happiness it feels it feels lonely it feels it does get a bond with you in a short time sometimes most of, most of the time and you're ripping them away from everything that they've known again and it can it can have a detrimental effect on their health and well-being so please don't rehome your dogs so it's not fair on them to have to go through all of that pain and anxiety and going into a new home environment all over again my voice is starting to go i'm sorry yes, and cock spaniels do suffer with anxiety i think if the best way to get around that obstacle is just to give them things because often it might not be for the entire time you're gone sometimes it might just be for the first say half an hour when you're gone so get them things like a Kong fill it with like Kong peanut butter not any because you know a pet friendly peanut butter like Kong peanut butter and then put it inside the Kong so that they have to work to lick out and that could easily last them um, up until half an hour maybe even an hour and then just 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 make sure they have lots of things around them to to, to, to surround themselves with especially if you only have one animal if you have two animals you might not need as much stuff um, although sometimes it can feed onto other dogs so if you have one dog that doesn't suffer with anxiety but then you bring a dog home that does sometimes like that dog will feed off the other dog's anxiety causing them both to have anxiety because then that dog's like wait why it's quite <laughs> it's it can be a lot of work um crate training again show them a lot of like positive reinforcements so that they do end up liking their crate and they see it more of a sanctuary instead of a prison i guess when you go out as they do feel a lot more comfortable because i know some dog owners don't like to leave their dogs roaming around the house but yeah so the fifth and last thing is that Cocker Spaniels are Cocker Spaniels are great family dogs. They love children, they love adults, they just they're the great family dogs and I would highly recommend you having them. Of course with all dogs comes their responsibilities and just a side note, please get a dog if you can pay vet bills. If you can't pay vet bills, don't 
don't get a dog. Um, or if the, the thought of vet bills scare you because you might not have a lot of money and don't get a dog. Wait till you're financially stable uh, since, again, they're living beings. But, yeah, they're, they're, they're great family dogs. In in all, I would highly recommend them. But, of course, do do just do your research and don't compare them. Don't get them. Personally, for me, I hate it when people don't wear the dogs on furniture. Um, obviously, I get it if you have a nice furniture and you want to keep it clean. But for me, it's like a dog shouldn't. A dog is going to spend all of its life on the floor. Even in the wild, they find rocks to sit on and things like that to elevate them. Let them on your couch. Let them on your bed. What's the worst that could happen? You know, you have to clean it. Oh my god! I hope you enjoyed this video, and I do hope this helped you. Make sure to smash it a thumbs up and subscribe. I know that I said that my, I know I was going to do lots of more challenges, however we have gotten into a national lockdown here in the UK, so it's a bit harder to do that, I can't do things that I would normally do, so I'm hope, so I'm kind of like wanting to do a how-to channel up until I can do other things, um, but I do want to do some things that, like just redecorating my bedroom um, and just things like that which I will vlog so it's not all constantly like sit down boring videos but anyway as I said like subscribe and goodbye